What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. I got a question for you as well as a prediction concerning the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. We all know tomorrow he will make a decision. We all know that the decision that he is more than likely going to make will not be his own. Okay. But the question I have for you guys is, first off, why is Deontay Wilder changing his tune about, tune about Tyson Fury? See, before he was pissed off. You know, he, him and Tyson Fury went back and forth like, like two couples on social media that just broke up and they're having a, a messy ass breakup over social media. Right. That's what it sounds like to me. You know, and that's what it sounded like. And all of a sudden. After all that drama, after all that shit talk and back and forth. Now he's cool. Now he's uh, uh, now he wasn't mad because t- when Tyson Fury took that deal. We know that's not the truth. My only question is. Why is he changing tunes? Why is he changing that up now? Hmm. Well, that's a question I wanted to ask, but here's my prediction. And I'm, I'm, I'm purposely doing this video before tomorrow. So this video can go out to see if this is accurate, right? My prediction is that Deontay Wilder wants to downplay his true feelings for Tyson Fury because He wants to have another fight with him. He wants things to go as though they could have went before. Okay, he just wants to do it on different terms since he's getting his own deal of some shape, form or fashion with whoever he decides to be with, you know, or stay with rather. So. It and I'm I'm saying that because. Now everything is cool with you and Fury. You're trying to do business with Fury and trying to get a fight. You're trying to continue the saga that you started with Fury. But you're not doing that for the fans, okay? Nobody gives a shit about Fury now because Fury has done his own way. He's made his own way. He's done his own deal. He didn't need you to do that deal, okay? But you need him some shape, form, or fashion because if you don't have him, you got to have somebody, okay? And then they've put a lot of pressure on Deontay Wilder by offering him a lot of money. OK, so his best bet is I'd rather get back in cahoots with Tyson Fury, a person that more than likely won't knock me out. Can't stop me. You know. I have taken every punch that he has to offer. He's not a heavy puncher. He's one of the low risk, high reward fights versus. Anthony Joshua, everything's high. Sure, it's high risk, but it's high reward. But why would you take that risk when you don't have to? See, I predict Deontay Wilder Wilder wants to stay far away from the zone and Anthony Joshua as possible. We've heard all types of other predictions and people's opinions, but this is my own. My own opinion is Deontay Wilder will not take a risk by signing with the zone. Simply because he will be a regular guy in that playing field. And if he loses, he loses everything. You see, a lot of these fighters, you notice Deontay Wilder. He mentioned, oh, well, these guys are just getting big deals off the strength of me. I don't believe that. I think it's actually the opposite. I think that these fights will eventually happen. Right. And since they will eventually happen, we don't know when, but if they happen. But I feel that Deontay Wilder, now he's had an offer from a very huge offer from one network. So if he has that type of offer, his profile is automatically raised. He doesn't have to sign shit. He could always flirt with the possibility of 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 uh Of maybe signing, you know, the possibility of him signing. Oh, well, I might sign. The idea sounds good. I might go head on and 
you know, sign that deal to fight Anthony Joshua. And the, the million dollar question you ask yourself is, well, um, is that is that something that he really wants to do? Is that a deal where it will benefit him? Sure, he will make all the money, but he's not used to that type of money anyway. So it's just money. It's all talk to him because he's never had it. He doesn't know what general generational wealth is. I don't know if he will ever know based on his previous business endeavors with his team. His team ain't never got him that much money. They know what he's worth. But guess what? That deal was offered to him. He can go back to his 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 old people and, and, uh, and with Showtime and say, look, you know what the zones on has on the table. OK, I'd rather let's let's make a deal with ESPN and get Fury in the ring. Cause I don't want to fight Joshua. You see what I mean? That's the thing because Joshua is more than likely has the danger of knocking him out before, way before Fury would ever do anything like that. Fury will just outbox you, box you, tie you up, hold you, spin you, box you, repeat the process, right? Joshua won't. If he fights Joshua, he knows I'm in uncharted waters. I'm in uncharted territory. If I'm on this fighting, then <clears throat> if he fights Brazil on that thing, he, he has to fight Joshua twice. He's not trying to do that. He's trying to make more money than he's made. But see, listen to Deontay Wilder in his interviews. He sounds very content with what he has. If you hear a guy that sounds very content on what he has, he's not looking for much more. And if he gets much more, He's winning. Deontay Wilder's winning. He has made $500,000, $1.5, $1, $1, $1,000,000, million, $2.5 million, $4 million guarantee. Look, that's compared to a regular person. That's great money. OK, so. To for someone to throw him or to offer him. A hundred million dollars, twenty million dollars, twenty-eight million dollars, twelve million dollars, fifteen million dollars. It doesn't matter to him because it it don't matter because that's not his range. It's not his range. You know, his pay bracket is like two. He's a two to six or seven million dollar fighter, <clears throat> and that's of the last year. So if you compare his growth. From one year compared to the last 10, he's winning. See, it's you are only as good as your expectations. OK, Joshua, he's on a he's too high of a level for Deontay. Deontay don't want to take that risk because if he look, if he loses to Joshua. I don't know how long Deontay Wilder is going to keep fighting. <clears throat> but. If I'm thinking like Deontay. If I get in there and I take this money and fight Joshua and I lose, he's going to let all his fans down. He's going to lose his belt and he has to fight him again. If Joshua beats him again, that's given them too much power, period. That's given one person too much power. They don't want that. Deontay Wilder knows as long as I got this WBC belt, I can bargain with it all I want to. That's it. And I need to get Tyson Fury's ass in the ring. Therefore, I'm not mad at him no more. I'm not mad at Tyson Fury no more. You know what I'm saying? No, let's kiss and make up so we can get back in the ring so we can freeze Anthony Joshua out because this shit's getting a little bit too real. It is. The zone coming with that big money and all that. Now he's a free agent and all this, that and the other. You know what I mean? Deontay Wilder don't want that. Deontay Wilder wants exactly what he had and what he had makes him happy. And at the end of the day, that's OK, because if he doesn't take that deal, you can't miss what you never had. That's my prediction with Deontay Wilder. That's what I feel. If he goes and stays with Showtime, boom, I told you so. They might offer him uh, some more money per fight. He's still winning. So just look at it like that. Will we see the Joshua fight? Probably not. They're probably hoping Middle Miller knocks out Joshua, just like. Uh, Deontay Wilder hopes. Well, I think it's possible for him to knock him out. You know, I think there's just a possibility. 
right? So that's what they're banking on. They're trying to wait to see if Joshua gets beat by Miller. You know what I'm saying? That, so they're doing that. So that's my prediction on that. You guys tell me what you think about this prediction. Of course, like, share, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.